very sparkly good morning i'm starting off my day in some gorgeous true vintage pink nightwear from wake up little susie vintage and this is what my face looks like in the morning when i haven't touched it yet i'm starting off by filling a sink with some water that is not too hot and not too cold exactly the right temperature And now it's time to cleanse our skin, and for that I am using this Fanny Soap by Chateau du Savant. I adore this product because not only does it make me feel so fabulously true vintage to be using a proper, proper bar of soap like all of the old gorgeous illustrated adverts, but also this soap is completely cruelty free, it's made by a small French company, and it is specifically designed to be used on your face. So you rub it between your hands, emulsify it with water, massage into your face, and then pat dry with a towel until you feel nice and squeaky clean. And this soap leaves my face feeling so, so good. It works much better for me than any of the other cleansers that I've tried. It's so simple and easy, and it leaves it feeling soft, smooth, but not tight or dry. For shaving, I've actually started using this Superdrug razor. It's pink, it's a fraction of the price of any of the Gillette ones, and it is even better. And as shaving gel, instead of an actual shaving gel recently, I have been using the Palmer's Cocoa Butter on my dry and eczema-prone legs, and it's been working really well for me. to our skincare products. I'm starting off with a 100% organic botanics toner which I spritz onto a cotton pad and then gently rub all over my face and my neck. You have to hydrate your eyes especially if you wear a lot of makeup so I am using this hydrogel puffy eye attack and taking my ring finger because as Michelle Phan told us all in the 2000s it is the most delicate of all the fingers and gently tapping that underneath my eyes. I then move on to a serum this is the Body Shop Tea Tree Line Serum and it feels so soft and good. I'm taking the little pipette, squirting a small amount onto my hand and massaging it into my face. By the way, before you do this, you want to make sure that your hands are nice and clean. To moisturize, I'm then taking an 81% organic botanics day cream and tip if you have long nails like I do, use the back of your nail to scoop the moisturizer out of the pot so that way you don't end up with gunk all underneath your nails for the whole day and again massage into your face. I use circular motions. <laughs> I don't care what the season is, I don't care if the sun is directly out, you need to be wearing SPF on your face every day. And I'm using the Hawaiian Tropic Aloha Care Moisturizer with SPF 30. It's mattifying, it smells great, and yes, this is why my face does not really tan in the summer because I'm wearing it every single day. You have to hydrate your lips as well, and I really, really love this Milani Rose Lip Balm. Supposedly, it is supposed to react to the pH of your lips to create your own custom colour, but it smells really, really good. It does turn into a pretty sort of pinky shade on me, and it just moisturises my lips really well, which is its purpose. My goal with skincare is never to end up with completely clear, glass looking poreless skin because that's completely unachievable but it's just to have hydrated happy skin with no dry spots and no particularly oily spots as much as possible for my very very dry and again sensitive eczema prone legs i only ever use dermal cream you can get this at any pharmacist but for the rest of my body i've recently gotten back into my soap and glory smoothie star body lotion did you know that soap and glory have recently become leaping bunny certified how fabulous is that their products are absolutely amazing and i love the vanilla and almond scent of this one it smells like cake
and exciting day of exploits. I am back in my cozy, fluffy dressing gown because it is too darn cold for life, and I am starting by clipping my hair back to make sure that I don't end up with just limp, wet strands all stuck to my face. Now we have to remove our makeup, obviously, before we sleep. Never sleep with your makeup on. And I'm using this amazing B by Superdrug Melting Cleansing Balm to do it. I just got this and I am obsessed with it. I had run out of my other makeup remover and I went to Superdrug and saw this one and thought, I wonder if this is good. And boy, oh boy, am I glad I did. You take a small amount of the balm on your fingers and rub it between your hands and first off, apply it all over your face while completely dry. Rub in circular motions, I find that easiest, even over your eyes, yes, even over your eyeliner, and then start emulsifying it with a bit of water at a time until it is nice and wet and your face is completely clean of makeup. I don't know what's in this, whether it's pixie dust, magic beans, or just some really amazing ingredients that I don't understand, but it completely removes mascara, eyeliner, foundation, eyebrow pencil, dirt, absolutely everything. It's kind of like magic juice. And then just rinsing with water again and patting my face dry with a towel. I feel so, so good after I've used this. My skin feels soft, completely squeaky clean, and really, really lovely. For my evening skincare steps, we're using some of the same products as in the morning. Starting off with a toner all over the face and neck. Using that same hydrogel eye cream again, applying a bit of a thicker layer this time because we don't have to worry about putting any makeup or anything over it. And then for my nighttime moisturizer, I'm using this amazing Soap and Glory Cloud of Dreams Whipped Night Cream. This has some of the coolest packaging ever. You press down and the moisturizer is dispensed through this little hole in the middle, which makes sure that it stays really clean. It's not messy or anything at all. So it's great for travel. And this has a really soft whipped texture. It's not too, it's not too, too heavy for again my slightly oily prone skin but when i sleep wearing this stuff and wake up in the morning my face feels so soft and hydrated especially if you wear as much lipstick as i do you definitely need to hydrate your lips while you sleep i'm using the same lip balm again and this is how my skin looks after my nighttime skincare it feels so so good and it's ready to repair whilst we sleep you have to thoroughly, thoroughly brush your hair every single night to keep it nice and healthy and to make sure the oils are evenly distributed and that you don't have any tangles whilst you sleep. And then for me, since I'd been in the wind and some of my curls were looking like they weren't going to last through the night, I am just redoing some pin curls by wrapping them around my fingers and securing them in place with a clip at the top of my head. I can do this with any pieces that I think just aren't really going to make it otherwise. Now to sleep, I am popping my hair in this amazing contraption, which is the Only Curls Satin Sleep Bonnet. This is amazing if you have naturally curly hair, or if you curl it artificially like I do to keep your curl pattern overnight. I'm tucking all the hair up into it and it protects your hair from any friction breakage or damage whilst you sleep. And it is really, really soft and really, really comfortable. <laughs> hope that you enjoyed seeing my skincare routine and now it is time to sleep. Good night!